What's good YouTube, it's Nolan Messenger, welcome to a brand new video. Now today I'm going to keep it a bug, it's going to be one of the most touchy subjects we've covered on this channel so far. We're going to be talking about forgiveness. I feel like it's one of the biggest misconceptions that the world has to offer. And what I mean by that is some people look at it like a weakness, some people look at it impossible some people find it like no way like there's no way i can forgive you for that just hold grudge it's a misconception man and i kind of want to talk about it from my experience and kind of what forgiveness does for you so yeah brace yourself put on that seat belt whatever you got to do hit like subscribe let's get straight to it now i'm not here to downplay nothing i'm sure everybody or a lot of people watching this video have faced some things that you can say right now like how could i forgive that you know what i'm saying how could i forgive you for that how could i forgive this situation how could i forgive myself these are some questions that we kind of have just and even if it's subconscious we don't really think about it but it's true there's some things that i thought i would never be able to forgive like or even forgiving myself because there are some things that i've let slide that dang like I, sh I feel like i shouldn't have let slide for sure but forgiveness is a vehicle to truly get past your trauma and truly get past that obstacle you feel like you've never been able to move across but honestly it's super uncomfortable it don't feel nice it definitely is one of the most uncomfortable less feel good feelings you'll ever feel but once you find it in your heart to forgive somebody or forgive you'll be able to correctly heal and move past whatever that was i'll tell you like from my experience I've seen it all, you know what I'm saying? Whether it comes to ex situationships, mistakes I've made, things I've done that I feel like I harmed somebody, things people have done to me that really affect me in, the, in my self esteem today. No matter what that is for you, these things hurt. Okay, let's 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 keep it honest. But one mistake we can tend to do is um, the the opposite, right? The, instead of dealing instead of dealing with these things and like leading to forgiveness, we deal with it with a different way of coping, which is numbing it in some type of way we get our hearts hardened um, and for specifics that's like holding grudges that's um resenting somebody that's um doing people wrong because of the way you've been treated and for the girls and guys watching this video like flexing up like oh I'm, look, look at me i'm better off without you you feel me yeah you know what i'm talking about which i'm realizing is low-key one way to seek for approval in some type of way I, it might sound crazy just doing it so they can see it and like react some type of way like look at me now but my point is these things can harden us to harden our our hearts so that we can't even get ready for the next relationship get ready for the next friendship that comes along because we're holding on to past trauma and i'm not here to downplay that this video these things hurt but there's there's actually right ways to cope with it and 2023 was my year of dealing with that because it was a mixture of all of it i was treated honestly keep it a butt if i were to look back on myself um i was treated horribly man past situationship i was treated horribly i couldn't see it because you know love is blind you know what i'm saying and no this isn't a shame dump i'm not shaming nobody this is just what it was this is just the fact of the matter the way i was treated really messed up my self-esteem my belief in myself my confidence in doing what i felt like i was doing was good my sense of value my sense of um just self-belief any and all these things right these are these are things that can mess up with forgiving yourself because i had to sit there for months and take that i i didn't do anything i, I tried to just in my you know what's crazy in my head i was like yo like it's okay like i, I forgive you it's not this it's not that big of a deal but i would sit through it so many lessons that i've learned do that one of them definitely was forgiving myself because i couldn't i couldn't even wrap my head around the fact that why did i sit there for so long to take like that disrespect or whatever so i had to really work on forgiving them because when i realized when i kind of saw it from the bigger picture when i could when i saw it out of my own lenses and when the one thing i feared actually happened in that relationship it killed me bro like i i, I couldn't even process ever forgiving that and, and number three people are gonna look at me kind of crazy for this treating them like it didn't happen i feel like that's the that's that's where the grudges and stuff come in because with uh, when you're holding grudges when you're holding all that it's not gonna allow you to ever treat someone like they never did it but at the same time it doesn't mean come back in and um everything's all sweet you know what i'm saying i feel like if we ever encountered again i'll be able to treat them like nothing happened my full belief i fully believe when you when you forgive somebody and by the way forgiveness dang i can really talk on this forgiveness is not just a one-time thing like oh i forgive you raps it's actually a constant um thing i still have to wake up um wake up every day and if it crosses my mind that that happened which it does often enough I forgive it i re-forgive it's like you know it's not just a one time kind of like for us like you think about god he forgives us for our sins um you think he just did that one time you know what i'm saying because we sin again daily daily dang near you know what i'm saying sometimes we do it daily we're not perfect individuals and yet god forgives us day by day by day it's not just a one-time thing that's his that's him proving to us it's not just i believe when you fully forgive somebody you're able to treat them like nothing happened and you're just constantly willing to forgive them over and over again now for you guys watching this video there might be some traumatic events that took place over the course of your whole life childhood whatever but i think forgiving the person constantly and even yo one level i took it to was praying for them like literally praying that they're doing for their well-being because i do care at the end of the day it's not like i don't care for them you have some type of care in your heart but there's something blocking you 
from really like actually being able to pour out love to other people or love correctly because of your trauma and we hold grudges when we're trying to stun on them to show them what we're better we're better off without them and even resent combos or whatever it those things can really like block you off from from healing and moving forward like god god wants us to move forward he doesn't want us to look on the past or the things that happen although they hurt he wants us to really get over that little hurdle you know get get past it man he's just trying to help us so the best thing you guys can do just going forward to really ex embrace this next breakthrough for your life the next great thing that happens for your life just work on forgiving and it's not just a one-time thing constantly just being like you know what they did me they did me dirty i ain't gonna lie they did me dirty but i forgive them because i'm trying to move forward when you hold grudges who's feeling it them or you and i know that's simple more simple said than done but it's the truth who's feeling it when you hold grudges who's feeling it when you resent somebody them or you you know what i'm saying that's poison it's poison to your heart it's gonna make your heart hardened and you won't be able to love not only them correctly love but not love yourself correctly but also not love others correctly you know what i'm saying these are things that can really affect us so yeah by no means is it easy i want to show you guys just one scripture today um this is luke 23 24 it reads jesus said father forgive them but they do not know what they're doing and they divided up his clothes by casting lots and for a lot of people they might not know the context but jesus was killed by um us technically but also the people back then they hated him because he was so perfect so he was sent on the cross to die for sins sins are something that he never committed but it's something that we do every day something that it's something that we can kind of do subconsciously or something that we can do time to time there's gonna be times where we mess up and sin against god so these are people literally like mocking him on the cross there's people mocking him today on the cross people spat on him on the cross people um they killed him on the cross they they stabbed him all that and it's crazy the thing that he said first after every every single bit of torture and betrayal and cross up whatever you want to call it is father forgive them like god forgive these people they don't even know what they're doing they have no clue people are going to look at forgiveness people are going to look at you forgiving people as a weakness but i don't know about you my opinion the most powerful man that you can ever become or emulate is jesus christ or god instead of retaliating instead of seeking revenge or seeking holding a grudge or something the first thing he does is say forgive them god because they don't even know what they're doing that is like the perfect thing to model and emulate i'm gonna have some scriptures actually on the screen just you know what i'm saying somewhere all, all along the screen these are some good scriptures to read if you guys have some type of faith-based uh belief to help you through your forgiveness because yo forgiveness ain't easy man i'm gonna tell you right now without god's without god's um strength and even or even him forgiving me i don't think i would ever forgave them or whoever is around me like that's that's i feel like affecting me i feel like in ways i've been soft-hearted but there are some times where i've been just no, I tried to numb what I was feeling and avoid the process of getting past it so I can embrace this next chapter. Yeah, I mean, I, I love to just continue to speak uh, or even kind of like pain talks through my life. These are, these, I'm literally just recapping some of like the most traumatic moments of my life and just trying to give you guys hope or a sense of direction of, of what you're actually doing because sometimes we don't, we're not aware of like what forgiveness or even holding grudges can do in our lives. That was the video for today. If you guys have any questions in the comment section below, feel free. Let me know. I'm willing to answer, kind of talk more in, in brief about it if this is gonna make any sense. Love you guys stay blessed. It's gonna be a great 2024.